all right so good morning good morning good morning once again everybody so please may help to mute your microphones um yes everything that exists as a life cycle so does data human beings we have life cycle animals they have the life cycle so data is meant to have a life cycle as well so whenever we have uh, we talk about data or we had data what exactly comes to our mind so a few points quickly on the chart so this meant to just some um, gather some information around what we think of data okay raw fact okay we think of data as numbers just type just type on the chart what do you think of data generally you hear the word what exactly comes to your mind first put that on the chart quickly I'm sure we all agree with me that data is everywhere data is all around us if you think about it every activity that we do has elements of data within it in fact it is one of those things that generates data so if you begin to narrow this down into different organizations organizations have their own ways of generating data and because they run on certain systems which have been summarized to be two which i'm sure that we are all aware of and i would ask us to mention it in a moment so these systems are systems that generate a lot of data for them so for the moment let's quickly have a review of that what are the two systems that organizations typically run on the two systems that organizations run on let's put that on the chart quickly please Okay, let's drop that on the chart. Operational systems, they are used to execute business processes. At Abraham Consulting, we have a number of processes we execute with our clients. One of the systems that we use, which is an operational system, is the one page CRM. So one page CRM, we use that to manage our deals, to manage our pipelines, we see our works are coming in, to manage at what point are we when it comes to all of these deals. But these systems, they manage our processes, but we actually need to also evaluate those processes. Probably there are bottlenecks somewhere, or probably there are certain recurrences within the systems, or probably even the data that the system generates, we need to analyze them. That is the essence of having analytic systems. But before you can analyze whatever data is coming from your operational systems, you actually do need to do some sort of data collection first, which is the start pro starting point for the data lifecycle. You need to collect data, you need to gather data. When you have collected the data that you need, you've gathered it, it has to be stored somewhere. Organizations store data differently. We have certain organizations who store data on premise, which means they store data locally in the organization, the data sit within the organization, probably by using some external storage devices or using uh, some infrastructures, data cubicle to manage the data warehouse internally. Some other organization, they subscribe to enterprise packages so that their data sits on the cloud. Maybe with Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, all of this is so that they ensure that the data have been gathered and collected, stored somewhere and they can access them at whatever point in time. When we define data, basically, we say that data is unprocessed information. It has to be processed. It has to be processed so that we can make some meanings out of it. In the bid to get some information out of data, that is the reason why we visualize it. We visualize our data in different ways. Analysts within the organization will come up with different charts, come up with different tables to make meanings out of that data. But when we look at the chart, for instance, maybe we are analyzing our trainings. We could say that, okay, in the last one year, we had, we delivered 700 sessions, maybe we had um, five clients, maybe some sort of information would come out whenever data is visualized. But this information are not actually what we need. They don't have so much value. They're only telling us what has happened within our business. That is not the end goal. The end goal will be that, okay, now we have, we have known that, okay, we have information within about our training to say that um, we deliver this number of trainings. How were they distributed? 
what was the pattern what was the trend we could see when we begin to analyze that okay maybe usually first quarters we don't deliver so much trainings uh trainings begin in second quarter in the third quarter we have so much engagement with our client consulting jobs and this will now begin to drive some actions to say okay since we have noticed that from our data we don't usually deliver so much trainings in the first quarter then what we need to do is that first quarter let's use it to plan ahead let's use it to prepare certain things maybe we need to do some cost dev maybe we need to you know just gather some knowledge base strengthen ourselves as to what we want to deliver to our client and that is where the insights begin to come in peter sundergaard mentioned that information is the oil of the 21st century and analytics is the combustion engine which implies that we cannot actually separate the two if you look at oil and automotive you can't separate the two some really what we're saying is this the start point of whatever thing we are doing with data begins with the data gathering and collection itself if data is properly gathered and collected we would observe that that would now drive certain things within the business okay fine we want to work on it we want to get some information out of that data we visualize the data the visualization would drive certain things we will be able to spot some patterns and trends and that's where we can now run some comparison we can do some analysis which will now inform certain decisions certain actions which eventually if we work on those actions will propel our business take us into the next level that we so much anticipate to get to thank you very much everybody so that is the data life cycle it begins with data information and then get to insights so the insight is the goal and that should be what we aim at at every point in time Thank you very much, everybody.